right, citizens of one and all, welcome back to more Valheim. We're going to talk building like your first house type of thing. I've already set some framework here because this does take the longest, but what we're doing is we're lining these up. I clip these in, you just have to line it up how you want, and then you look exactly where it wants to go, or you look at exactly where you want it to go, and it will clip in every time. So what we're doing is setting some framework for how we want our structure to look. As you can see, we're, we're clicking here every time we want to clip into place. Come back under a couple of these like that. All right, that's good. We're then going to add some stairs right here. Again, looking at where we want the stairs to go the whole time. I'll put them right there on the side. Then what you're going to need to do is remove that piece right there. And then beyond that, you're not going to be able to get in. Otherwise, the... Um, they kind of catch on it. They'll, they'll catch your head on the door. So, oops. Come back and fix that one. There, you're going to set all these. As you see fit. Uh, for whichever way you want the uh, planks to face, etc. So we're going to keep this really short and sweet. And I think we placed one underground here somewhere. Not sure where that one went. We'll have to find it later. Doubled up on something. Then let's see. Door. E. Walls. That. There we go. Keeping this really easy. Uh, really simple build. My first few days in game, or even still so, I lived in one of the procedurally generated houses that I found. Need some wood, okay. We might need a little more than that even. We have one more log just kind of hanging here from what we were cutting down earlier. I hate when it gets stuck like that. It wouldn't let me hit the actual log. Now watch out. They do cause pretty consistent fall damage. We've even used logs before to cut down the birch trees. We had our tool break one time, so it made sense to just let it fall into the birch. And uh, then we got lucky and... <laughs> Eventually it broke. We didn't have to go back to base. That happened yesterday in stream. Pretty cool. So as far as first houses go, don't try to be too elaborate. Just get something set up. Uh, learn the basics of how to build. Again, the, clip the clipping itself can be a bit funky at times. You're not used to it. Again, we're turning this and looking right where we want to go. Time. Go. Walls are set. Now, since this is a Viking game, you definitely should add that definition. Makes it look like a Viking game. Support the sides a little bit, but actually, no. To do that correctly, you're going to have to add first roof tile first. I like to build a roof like this. Corners are nice, but I prefer this method. Get it to clip above the door, we'll come back to that. Normally if you just look right there, there you go. And now you come outside and you add that definition with the angled logs, you aim right there at the corner. Once you have the angle correct, you aim right there at the corner. That. Come down under here. Get that to clip into the ground. Yeah. Again, sometimes you just have to back up and look at the spot. Line it up here as well. Like that. The angle is the same. It is. Add this one to make it look. Metrical as possible. 
If you're on the same side of the same thing. If I think right angle, that is. I hate that we have to waste one going into the ground like that. No, that's dead wrong. Okay. Sometimes these are hard to get them to clip like you want. That's what we need. Now, let's place this one. Again, this one's hard to have it clip into place sometimes. There we go. There's what we're after. And what we're going to do over here is we're going to set this first, and then we'll come back and finish that other. Uh, line there, so. Sometimes it just does not want to go. Let's get a little bit more wood here. Going that roof up. As far as the clipping, that's going to be the hardest part of all this. Come on, man. Don't do this to me. I believe that's right. The best part of this game is you do get all resources back. There it is. Okay, good. So if you had to break something, you would get everything back from breaking that something down. And then I like to use this one to cap it off like this. Not a perfect first house, but we'll take it. See, there's a little bit of overlap that I normally don't get, so I'm not sure what happened there. I think I think it's a little off square, but. There we go. Viking house in a nutshell. Not a terrible first time build. Um, not elaborate either. Beyond that, you know, you would add a bed. Here. Bed. Then what I like to do that works for me is I like to just put the campfire under the house when I build in this style. It does work. It does not smoke you out. It counts as shelter. We can sleep. Perfect. Awesome bed and house built right there. And the fire is not bugging you. Beyond that, if you want a fire for cooking or the cauldron or uh, cooking meat, I would just set them up outside as, as it is. And the nice part about this one is I believe it stays lit in the rain. Oh, that's good. And there's no smoke, which is perfect. So again, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being here. I know it's a little long-winded to kind of just give a basic of how the uh, Viking house building works, but that is it in a nutshell. I very much enjoyed walking through this with y'all. Thank you for being here. And make sure to like, subscribe, and enjoy Valheim.